In this Tosca session, I'm going to show you how you can take screenshots in Tosca. And I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. In one way where you can take a screenshot anytime within your test case, that is a particular T-Box module through which you can take this particular screenshot at any point uh, as a test step, right? And then I'm going to show you how you can uh, capture screenshots during execution only when your execution fails, okay? So both the ways uh, are useful on their own uh, methods, but so both the ways uh, you can use in order to take uh, screenshots at different intervals, either only during failures or if you want to have screenshots for any particular step or all the steps, uh, you can always implement this in your test cases, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and uh, look how we can do this, right? So for this, I have created another test case folder, uh, screenshots, and uh, I'm using our earlier test case, which uh, we had used for this demo web shop to log in, right? Uh, the only difference is this time I'm using a invalid credential to log in and it is going to fail, right? Okay, so here you can see this is the test case with all the test steps like opening URL uh, and then clicking on login, um, entering the credentials. This time I'm using uh, invalid login and then verifying the login and then log out, right? But it is going to fail in the login step itself. Um, now we'll see how we can capture uh, this failure uh, of uh, this particular test case in a cap in a screenshot and store it somewhere, right? But before that, let me tell you how you can use a T-Box module to capture a screenshot at any point in your test case, okay? So again, uh, let's search for T-Box screenshot, okay? So it is T-Box take screenshot. That's the module name. And here uh, you can choose an environment Either you can choose a desktop or even a mobile, okay? So since we'll be working with desktop, uh, we'll choose desktop. And then uh, we can choose a particular directory where this will be stored, okay? So let me choose a directory for this. And uh, it will be this, okay? And now file name. Now, if you notice, if I give a file name like a screenshot one, Every time it is going to, uh, every time it will try to rewrite this particular screenshot one because the name would still be same. So if I run this test case multiple times, it is going to overwrite this particular screenshot, right? But what if I want to store this, uh, all the screenshots which it is taking in different executions, right? So that can be done. You just need to apply some dynamic expression here. So after screenshot, what you can do, uh, you can put some dynamic expression and I can use date time expression here. So uh, it will always be unique because uh, it will be like, uh, it will put the date and then the time in, in terms of minutes, seconds, hours. So it will always be unique, right? It cannot be the same file name whenever you are using this kind of a dynamic file name. So now I can have multiple file names uh, with different names, right? Which contain screenshots of each execution. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this after uh, we click on login. Okay, this might not be useful if my login is failing um, because if I put it after the login, uh, it probably won't get executed, right? Because it will fail at the login step. So let me put it before that so that at least we can see that uh, this screenshot is being captured, okay? So um, let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, so now a screenshot should be captured after it clicks on login and we'll verify that by going to that particular folder, okay? In the scratchbook, um, you can see in that particular test step that it is showing you in the details where this particular screenshot is uh, captured, right? So you can copy the path from here, or if you know, 
then you can also go to that particular path. In the log info, it will tell you a screenshot was successfully created. Okay, so you can put uh, these steps uh, multiple times at various other places where you want to capture something, right? Uh, it could be part of uh, any requirement, right? So here, if I go, I have got some other uh, screenshots, but this one is the one which I named it. Now, a screenshot, you can see there is a particular date time, right? And if I run this again, uh, it will capture the same screenshot, but with a different name, okay? So uh, this seems to be useful, but still uh, it doesn't actually uh, solve any purpose for me because I want to see where my test step has failed, right? And I want to capture something or, and I want to capture a screenshot of my failure, right? So where it failed to, do something or verify something uh, in the application, okay? So uh, to do this, uh, there is an automatic way. You don't need to um, use any modules or make any changes to your test cases. You can apply it at a project level, okay? So for that, we need to go to project settings, right? And then uh, we need to go to T-Box and in this T-Box, there is something called a uh, logging and inside logging that is screenshots okay so here uh, by default uh, make screenshot on field test steps this will be uh, switched off but you can turn it on okay and there are two options either on detection failure or verification failure i would suggest put it on the verification failure because that's where uh, your tests will fail and uh, you want to see them in results, what has failed, okay? Uh, again, uh, screenshot directory, you can put it anything. Um, I put the same directory where it can store, and then the image format, right? There are different image formats you can choose from. I will choose PNG. Um, and these are the three uh, settings which you need to do at a project level. This will be applicable everywhere, okay? And now when we execute this test case again, and if it fails, it is going to capture a screenshot in that particular folder, okay? So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, now when I look at the scratch book after this test case has been completed, uh, you will see that our normal screenshot has been taken as well because we did not remove this step. But once this test case fails, something has changed now. In the details section, you can see there is a system.drawing.bitmap, but it doesn't show me the screenshot, right? So it is not possible to see this in Scratchbook. You need to run it in an execution list. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a execution list folder here called demo, and I'm going to pull this uh, screenshots into this particular demo execution list folder, okay? So let's put this here, and we will name this as screenshots. Okay, now, so that's my execution list. Inside this, I have got uh, my test case, right? Now, uh, let's go ahead and run this, and let's see if it now shows the actual screenshot in our uh, execution list uh, results. Okay. Okay, so now in the log info, you will see that uh, it is showing it as failed, the test case. But the important thing uh, which we required is in the details section, now you can see uh, both uh, the screenshots, one which we have taken it uh, by a module, and also uh, the failure test step, right? So the failed test step where it failed on the verification part, so it is going to take a screenshot automatically, right? You don't require any particular test step or any changes. And you can extend this 
so this is part of your debugging, right? So whenever a test step fails, you can then see uh, where it exactly failed. But uh, this is not the uh, right. This is not the right screenshot, and that is because I closed the window uh, even before, or I came back to this window uh, before it took a particular screenshot. But uh, let me run this again quickly, and uh, I will show you the correct screenshot, right? Okay, so once the test case is completely uh, finished, then only come to the result section or else you are going to get um, a different kind of screenshot, right? Like I did. So now uh, coming to the latest execution, uh, here you will see that now it has got the correct screenshot here, okay? So you can see it is the demo web shop and uh, now looking at the screenshot, I can find out where my test case exactly failed, right? So it failed, uh, the login was unsuccessful because of uh, incorrect email or password, okay? So looking at that, then I can go ahead and fix my particular uh, test case. So it's, it's good uh, in terms of uh, debugging any particular failures and uh, the T-Box take screenshot module is good for any particular uh, screenshots which you want to capture at any point of time. Okay, so you can use both hand in hand depending on your scenario, how you want uh, to perform or take screenshots uh, while running your test cases. So that's all for how you can take screenshots uh, in Tosca using different ways. One is a T-Box module and one is a system settings.